Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the case may be. We are back and better than ever, and today we will be exploring, we will be talking about, we will be dissecting exponential functions, and we get started with the classic, Just What I Needed, by the impeccable, the unbelievable, the cars. So, let's get to it, shall we? All right. Okay, so, uh, bam, bunch of verbiage here. Um, we know how to evaluate B to the N, yes, um, but when, if, what about when B to the N, uh, when N is a element of the real numbers? How do we handle that? Um, so we can graph it, we can use logarithms, we're going to get into that, but for now we're going to look into graphing exponential functions. Remember, an ex uh, exponential function has its variable in the exponent, and this is the most general form, y equals b to the x. Um, perhaps the most common one that we use is y equals 2 to the x, and that is graphed right here. Here's some points. Um, and some general things that we'll say about it. All exponential functions have this same general shape, uh, similar to what uh, all parabolas have a same general shape. All exponential functions look something like this, okay? All exponential functions have a horizontal asymptote. You can see as x goes to negative infinity, the function approaches zero. And if you think about it, it makes perfect sense. Two to the negative three is one over two cubed. Two to the negative tenth is one over two to the tenth. So the function, uh, the value of y will get closer and closer and closer to zero. A um, couple other things. Um, I'm not a big memorizer here. Uh, we can kind of figure things out. I, I'm not a proponent of... If A is greater than 0, B is greater than, than 1, we should be able to figure that out without memorizing. But generally, just like with other functions, the biggies here, the C controls horizontal shift and D controls vertical shift. And then A has all kinds of effects um, on it, as you can see here. And of course, we can't have B um, equal to 1 or A equal to 0. Um, so to sketch a, uh, the graph of an exponential function, it's really pretty easy. We just need the horizontal asymptote, we need the y-intercept, and just a couple of other points. Okay, And again, all exponential graphs are similar in shape and have a horizontal asymptote. Um, and here is a biggie. The equation of the horizontal asymptote will always be y equals d. So whatever that vertical shift is will be our horizontal asymptote. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and sketch one. Okay, let me move this kind of over a little right in the front and center. Sketch the graph of y equals 2 to the negative x minus 3. Okay, um, and then set, uh, state the domain and range. Well, I'm going to start uh, sketching um, just plain old 2 to the x. Okay, y equals 2 to the x. So... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, just to kind of get our bearings straight. One, two, three, four, five. Again, one, two, three, four, five. Negative five. One, two, three, four, five. We got negative five here. So two to the zero power is equal to one. So when x equals zero, y equals one. When x equals one, y equals two. Uh, when x equals two, y equals four. Four, let's see, two, three, four. And when y, x equals three, y equals eight, five, six, seven, eight. And then we get one half. When x equals uh, two to the negative one is one half. Two to the negative two is one fourth. And we can see it gets closer and closer and closer ah, to zero. So that's two to the x. Okay, now you don't have to sketch all these. I just want to show you what's going through my mind, but you don't have to go through this entire process to um, sketch this graph. You might be able to look at it and go, okay, I can sketch that pretty easily. Now I'm going to take care of the negative x. Well, the negative, anytime you negate the x, that um, reflects 
the uh, original graph in the y-axis. So the y is the mirror of, of reflection, so I can just plot like this point as if it's a mirror. It's like you're my mirror right here um, for this one, two away. So it's going to be two away from the mirror, the y-axis. Um, this is one away. This isn't going to change. And then we get this and this, and it looks like that. Okay, now remember, this is 2 to the negative x, right? y equals 2 to the negative x. And then our final graph will be blue. It's going just to drop this entire graph down 3 units. So I'm going to take every point and move it down 3 units. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 and one, two, three. And I get a pretty good idea here. Uh, oh, I better do this one, the half, just so I can see. One, two, three. It's also a good idea to go ahead and sketch your horizontal asymptote so you don't get, um, uh, you don't accidentally go past it. I'll do that in pink, I guess. And now let's make it black. So one, two, negative three. So it's like this guy right here. And that is y equals negative 3. Again, this is always going to be your horizontal asymptote. And then we'll do this in blue. And it looks something like, the, oops, I meant to do that in blue. It didn't take, there's blue, okay. It looks something like this. Yowzers. Oh, so there we go. So our blue is y equals uh, 2 to the negative x minus 3, right there, okay? And then the domain, let's think about this, okay? It's going to go forever this way and take up all the x values, and it's eventually, it is moving left. This is probably should have been a little bit more like that out to the left. So eventually it's going to hit all of the negative x values, so the domain is the real numbers, and then the range, or the possible set of y values, which is everything greater than negative 3. It's always going to be greater than or less than where the horizontal asymptote is. It's never going to touch it. So this is going to be y greater than negative 3. Um, so that's quite nice. Let's go ahead and look at this on a graphing calculator real quick. Um, I'll go ahead and start just like I did, graphing 2 to the x so we can see. And then I'll graph 2 to the negative x, and it's going to reflect directly in the y-axis. Bam. And then we'll take that bad boy and we'll move it down uh, 3. Negative x minus 3. Bam. And then I'll go ahead and graph y equals negative 3 just to show you the horizontal asymptote. Oops, negative 3. Bam, and then you can see how it approaches it there. Um, there, okay. Um, all right, that's quite nice. Um, so we did pretty well there. Uh, one more slide, I think, to show you. Um, we can use the graphs to estimate values. Um, consider the graph of y equals 2 to the x. The value of 2 to the x for a given uh, value of x, for example, uh, 2 to the 1.8 is approximately equal to 3.5. So here's 1.8. I go up, and I can see the value is about 3.5. Um, so we can estimate solutions using a graph if we need to. Of course, if we have a graphing calculator, we can find intersections quite easily. All right, that is it, unbelievably. I hope you enjoyed it. I am thrilled to get back to the cars, just what I needed. And with that... I am out! I don't mind you hanging out and talking in your sleep.